In this video, I will show you how to record high quality smooth gaming footage in OBS Studio. What's up everyone, Yell here with the Video Nerd and welcome to the OBS Studio Master Course. After my Streamlabs OBS Master Course, I decided to make one for OBS Studio and this is the first one. Before starting, we need to download OBS Studio and if you haven't done that yet, let's do it together. Go to obsproject.com download or to the link in the description and then right here you can download the installer. So let's click on that, the download will start and then we will install the program. So right here we are into OBS Studio, it's a fresh installation, so let's go over everything so you know what is what. On the left we have the scenes and they act like folders that hold everything in the sources. In the sources you add your game capture, when streaming you add your webcam there etc. And then the scenes are used to swap between different setups of the sources. For example between an in-game screen or an intermission screen or a I'll be right back screen etc. Then right here in the middle we have the audio mixer and there are a few things I need to say about this. So let's do that first. You see right here I'm importing my desktop audio and then my mic auxiliary device. Now there is no microphone connected to my computer so of course it's not moving but let's go to the settings to make sure everything is set up correctly for you. So only right click on the settings like I did and then go to audio. Then right here desktop audio you should set this to default because this will just import all the audio from your PC. The audio that you usually would hear through your headphones or you are hearing through your headphones. So that's your gaming sound, that's your friends who are talking on Discord uh videos etc so for recording games this is important now another thing to keep in mind if you want to do a live commentary while you're gaming or you are talking to your friends on discord so that will be recorded the default setting the desktop audio will record your friends who are talking on discord along with your game but if you want your voice to be recorded through then you need to select your microphone because otherwise your voice will not be in the recording so as your mic auxiliary audio you should select your microphone right here as i said there's none connected for me so i cannot but right here select your mic then click on ok and then there's a second thing to explain in your mixer again click on one of the gear icons right here on the right and then click advanced audio properties now right here you will see all your sources and you can select the tracks to which they are sent right here and this is important now later in the settings you will be able to select how many audio tracks you will be adding to your recording and that totally depends on what you are selecting right here now what can we do with these tracks so later on when editing your video you can cut out certain parts of your microphone or from your game for example you have a lot of flexibility with it so how do we set it up well right here you see this is the desktop audio right here the first one so let's deselect everything except channel one so this will make sure that our game will be going to the track one then for the microphone we deselect everything except for channel two Okay, so now in the editing program, we will have our video and then one track for the gaming sound and one track for the voice recording. And that makes it very easy to edit things. Now let's click on close and make sure we add our game to our screen right here so we can record something. Right here in the sources, this is where we will have to do it. So click on the plus icon right here and then click on game capture. Then give it a name if you want another name, click on OK and then here we have the settings. Now you can leave it like this so then you will capture any full screen application. So as it says any full screen application will be recorded. Now let's say that I only want to record Overwatch or more importantly when my game that I'm recording is in windowed mode. Then you have to click this drop down and then click capture specific window. Then a new drop down will be available window and there you have to select your game. So for me it's Overwatch. 
Okay, I click on that and you see it immediately gets added to my screen. So then click on OK. And right here we have Overwatch. If it doesn't fit to your screen, if for example it's a bit smaller, don't try to make it fit perfectly, etc. Just right click it, go to Transform, and then click on Fit to Screen. And then boom, it's full screen. Now, finally, let's go into the video settings for our recording. Let's go to the settings on the right, then go to the video tab first. Base canvas resolution. This is the resolution of the screen you will be gaming on. And the PC on which I'm recording right now has a 1080p screen. So let's select 1920 by 1080. Then the output scaled resolution. This will be the resolution that your final recording will be in. Now when streaming, people often choose a lower resolution. So then you do it right here in the output scaled resolution. But for recording, we want to record in a high quality. So we just select the highest quality available right here, which is 1080p. If your monitor has a higher resolution, you can record in a higher resolution, but it will take more power of your computer. So you can choose if you want to go for 1080p or for example, 1440p or 4K. Then the next setting is the downscale filter and you should set this to Lanxos. Then the common FPS values, since it's a game that you are recording it's highly recommended to select 60 right here because it will be much smoother to watch let's quickly click on apply right here so we don't lose the settings and then go to the output tab right here first of all the output mode set it to advanced and then in this bar right here click on recording the type shouldn't be changed and just select standard right here. Then the recording path, this is easy. Just click on browse, click a path where you want the recording to be stored and then just click on select map. You can generate a file name without spaces, but that's completely up to you. Then the next thing, the recording format right here, you can select MP4. Then the next setting is the amount of audio tracks you wanna add to your recording. And let's quickly click on okay. Click on the gear icon right here in the audio mixer, advanced audio properties. And right here you can see how many audio tracks you are using. So we are using two of them right now. So let's just close this, go to the settings again, output, recording right here. So we should enable two audio tracks right here. Then as your encoder you want to select NVIDIA NVENC or X264. It's recommended to select NVIDIA NVENC, but if this isn't available for you, you can go for X264. The difference between the two is that Hardware NVENC will use your GPU to do the encoding and X264 will use your CPU to do the encoding. So if you can select Hardware NVENC, just select that one. If you can't X264, I will explain these settings later, but let's go over the NVIDIA NVENC new settings first right here your rate control you should set this to cqp then your cq level this is the level of quality that you will be recording in it's recommended to set this between 15 and 25 with 15 being high quality and 25 being lower quality i recommend you to set this at 17 or 18 Set up everything, then start recording and see if your PC can handle it. If it can't handle it, use 19, 20, 21 till your PC can handle it. Then right here, keyframe interval, you can just leave it at zero. Your preset, you can use quality or max quality, depending on how strong your PC is. Let's set it to max quality and leave the CQP at 17. And then afterwards, if your PC can't handle it, first set this to quality see if it can if it still can't move the cqp up to 18 19 20 etc till your pc can handle it then the next setting let's set it to max quality okay then the next setting is the profile and you can just set this to high like it is on default then you disable look ahead enable psycho visual tuning set the gpu at zero the max b frames to two and then the recordings are set up and you can start testing if your pc can handle it to do it efficiently press ctrl shift escape on your keyboard and then go to performance right here which is the second tab then you can see your processor performance 
and your GPU performance. So right now, go to OBS Studio, click on record, then just open your game, game a bit, alt tab out, then just stop the recording right here and then you can just go to the task manager again and you can see a history of your performance for your processor and your GPU. Then if you see that your processor was peaking to a really high point or your GPU was, you can just lower the quality a bit. Or if you felt that it was lagging, of course you should lower it. So then go to your settings, go to the output tab, to the recording and then just set the max quality to quality and then maybe make the CQP like 20 and then click on OK. Do the test again till you can record without lagging or your PC throttling etc. For the people who don't have Nvidia and VNC encoding, I will quickly go over the X264 settings. So let's go to the output tab, to the recording tab and then change the encoder to X264. Okay. Then rescale output, you can rescale your output right here, but this isn't recommended first of all because we are recording, so we want a high quality. And second of all, if you are rescaling your footage, you should do it in the video tab right here as the output scaled resolution, because this will use your GPU to do the rescaling. And in the output tab, you will use your CPU to do the rescaling. And that's absolutely not recommended. It. Then as your rate control, you should select CRF and this is just like the CQP setting we were using for the hardware and VNC. So right here CRF and then this quality, you should set it between 15 and 25, 15 being high quality and 25 being lower quality. So just set this to like 17, set up everything, start your game, start recording, see if your PC can handle it, if it can't handle it, lower the quality, for example, to 20. And then you can see if your PC can run that one. If it can't, higher, you understand it. Okay, then the keyframe interval, you can set it to zero to make it automatically. Then the CPU usage right here, this is the most important setting when using X264 encoding. So by default, it's very fast. And you have to know right here, the slower you go right here, so to the bottom, the more of your CPU will be used. The higher you go, so super fast or ultra fast. For example, here, ultra fast, this is the least taxing option for your CPU. So if you have a really slow CPU and you don't have hardware and VNC, you will have to go for super fast or ultra fast, but this will be at cost of your quality. So let's just set it to very fast. So the two settings that you should be changing depending on how strong your computer is or the CRF right here between 15 and 25 and then the CPU usage right here. If you have a strong PC, you can go for faster or fast, but probably you will have to go for very fast and then around 20 right here. I think that will work for most people. Then the profile, you can set this to high then the tune, you should not change this. Oops, okay. You should not change the tune. And then right here, you can leave this blank and just click on apply, okay. And then everything is set up for your game. If you want more guides on streaming or content creation, make sure you click the subscribe button because this channel will be just perfect for you. And if you want to join a growing community on Discord, I am building up the TVN Discord server and I will put a link on top of the description so you can check it out. It's a bunch of people who are interested in content creation online, streaming, becoming better as a content creator and everyone is very friendly and helping each other out. So if you're interested in that, I will put a link on top of the description and there is nothing else to say so thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video. Have a good day.